and on the recommended uh, activities of the programs, projects, and activities of the student government for school year 2021-22. But take note of the word, recommended programs. Usually, we do have memos on mandatory programs. But when we say recommended because of our programs, projects, and activities na ating papatupad sa ating mga stations ay siyang dapat akma kung whatever quarantine qualification, uh, classification meron tayo. So, ibabagay lang natin, i-contextualize at i-localize ang pag-implement ng mga programa ng new formation. Ito ay naka-anchor sa D, uh, DM55 series of 2021. So, uh, because of the decision of the department to have to, for education to continue, then kami ay sumusunod din na for activities and programs of the Youth Formation Division shall also continue but with modifications na naaapa sa bawat komunidad or lokal. Okay. So ating tingnan sa memo na ito, may dalawang bahagi. Ito yung lead at assist. Kapag sinasabi natin lead, it refers to the PPEs that shall be organized and conducted at the school level by the SPG and SSG to ensure the participation of the learners. So ang memo na ito is pertaining for youth formation activities in the school level. When we say assist, may ibang nangunguna and we also provide services to them. It refers to the activities that shall be implemented at the school level with the support of the SPG and SSG through physical and virtual participation. So ano-ano pa yung mga activities na saan manguna ang isang uh, student government program or uh, organization? Una, yung student leadership formation programs. Maraming kategorya na pwede natin ipasok like yung pulso ng kabataan, yung voters uh, education, uh, pwede environment, anything that is on leadership formation, uh, including the Student Leadership Development Program or the Development Academy ay pasok po sa Student Leadership Formation Programs. We have peer coaching activities. So, alam natin, walang face-to-face -face classes, pero uh, sa aking paglilibot sa buong Pilipinas sa panahon ng pandemya, marami akong mga kabat ang nakikita na doon sa magkatabing bahay, naglalaro, uh, uh, still may access sila sa kanila-kanilang smaller community. So pwedeng ang mga magagaling na student government officers ay mag-initiate ng mga peer tutorial or peer coaching activities kung saan yung mga magagaling sa specific subject ay pwedeng magturo sa kapwa nila mag-aaral, lalo na yung sa mga younger years nila, sa para ma-ipsan yung pag-ibirap in terms of uh, doing the modular distance learning. Uh, Mangunguna tayo sa National Children's Month. Dito sa Central Office, ang counterpart natin, ang Office of the Undersecretary for Legal Affairs. But sa school, kayo po ang lead ito sa pag-conduct ng celebration. The National Students' Day, this is mandated by law every November. The National Day of Remembrance for Road Crash Victims, Survivors, and Their Families. Mahalaga din ito na magkaroon tayo ng uh, road safety awareness uh, campaign uh, program starting with remembering those students na nagigitima ng mga road crashes. Uh, uh, if, tingnan natin ang statistics ngayon, mas marami pang kabataan na namatay dahil sa mga road crash road rages, uh, mga biktima ng mga aksidente kaysa COVID-19. So at mahalaga din natin itong pagtuunan ng pansin, lalo na kung babalik tayo sa norm uh, sa ating nakagawiang face-to-face. Then core values advocacy, yung pag-integrate ng mga programa ng kagawaran, ng core values ng kagawaran sa iba't ibang mga programang ginagawa natin sa student government program. Then, yung school level World Teachers Day celebration. At the central office, ang nangunguna nito ang office of, its, of the Undersecretary for External Partnerships. But in the school level, uh, inaasahan ko namin na mangunguna sa pag-honor ng kanilang mga puro 
sa outstanding contribution nila sa education ay ang ating mga students. Sa pag-assist naman, ito yung global handwashing day. Uh, Mag-assist tayo sa Brunada Eskwela, early registration, child and adolescent health and advocacy campaigns, the school health, uh, disaster risk reduction of for learners, another deaf ed related activities. So, yung other deaf ed related activities, these are memorandized programs of the department na na uh, isasagawa up to the school level. So, yun yung mga, may mga memo na hindi nakalista dito pero dapat natin ipagpapag. So, ang student government may may dalawang function. Ito yung to be and the other one is to assist. Okay. Okay. The SPG and the SSG shall adopt applicable approaches to ensure uh, continuous deliveries of PPAs in consideration of the provisions of EO 14 2020 on the guidelines of the required health standards in the basic education offices and schools. Uh, lalo namin itong nakikita nung magkaroon tayo ng gawad si club na yun, uh, sa mga pictures, sa mga MOBs, may mga nakikita tayo mga activities na uh, lumalabas din ang iba na ating mga kabataan para magpalaganap na kalang mga programa. But we should always remember na meron tayong guidelines on the required health standards in basic education offices and schools. Dapat lahat natin ng gagawin ay hindi dapat lalabag sa IAP we have rules and guidelines and sa DO14 series of 2020. So SPG and SSG programs, projects, and activities that involve learners of large numbers uh, such as student leadership, psychological, first aid training, and other similar activities shall only be conducted via online platforms. So sa online pa po tayo hanggang hindi ma-declare ng Presidente ang pag ng face-to-face -face classes. So, uh, alam ko, miss na miss na ninyo ang inyong mga uh, learners at uh, kailangan pa rin natin na uh, uh, ipatupad yung mga minimum health standards. Only PPAs intended to support or increase learners' mental resilience may be conducted by SSG officers age 15 and above through a limited face-to-face -face modality, when allowed. Baka sinabi nyo, sabi ni Sir Adolf, okay na, meron kasunod yan. When allowed by DOH, IATF, and DEPR. And in proper coordination with and guidance of the concerned school teaching and non-teaching personnel. Next. SPG and SSG are highly encouraged to create offline, uh, offline yung mga hotlines, online channels, like uh, uh, mga hotline numbers. Uh, we also uh, have to have uh, yung mga, ano natin, mga low technologies, pati yung text, pwede pa rin natin gamitin yung text and calls na pwedeng mas marami ang ma-reach. And online channels like Viber, Facebook, Messenger, Zoom. Uh, ngayon, ang official natin na uh, uh, messaging, uh, ano, secured messaging line ay ang MS Teams dahil lahat ng mga bata natin ngayon ay i-activate na natin ang kanilang Office 365. So magkakaroon tayo ng major event on that uh, by October 1 kasama ang ICTS para magkaroon na ng online platform for video conferencing ang mga bata. Kasi di ba sa Zoom, 40 minutes lang tayo sa sa Google ay limited din but magkakaroon na po ng teams na pwede nyo magamit online. To facilitate communication between SPT and SSG officers, advisors, and informators provided the Data Privacy Act is simply followed. Hey sir, paano yung wala mga online? So, yung dito po uh, natawag yung ating pag-ibalikain. Uh, sa panahon nung nag-elementary ako, no, that's long years ago, uh, wala po mga online but Nagkakaroon kami ng mga kaibigan abroad dahil sa mga penpal na ina-organize sa aming mga teachers na nagsusulatan in order to promote the human network around the globe. Uh, SPG and SSB have ensured observance of ethical standards and data privacy of students during the delivery of the mandated PPAs. Uh, uh, ating pa rin uh, 
alamin na meron yung Data Privacy Act at meron pa rin yung Code of Ethics and Ethical Standards for Government Employees ay still in effect even in an online platform.